we've now had GT Sport for a week. And I guess it may as well be time to review it. I actually didn't start playing the full game until Friday night, but I think that's still plenty of time to do an accurate enough review. Y'all have already seen videos of gameplay and tunes and glitches and PD logics. But, well, there's some good and there's some bad, obviously, but I think all in all the game is good. It's kind of going to be like the review of the demo because there isn't tons different. But there is some new stuff as well, and I'll go ahead and mention the new stuff most. And that new stuff being the servers are even worse somehow. As y'all seen from the PD logic, there was that whole day where the labs weren't even registering that you did in sport mode. And then there was that whole night where you didn't have internet or servers at all, even though your internet was working. And then every day, there's been this stupid, 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 stupid sportsman separating and penalties and ghosting, all that combined, to make it to where even if sport mode does work completely right, quote-unquote right, the way they have it working in general is pretty got big and wrong. You just barely hit another driver accidentally and it's a 10 second penalty. But yet another driver can punt you off the road maliciously and you're the one who loses sportsman separating for it. If that's fixed, whatever. But as of now, that's borderline game breaking given that the majority of the game is online. I'm talking about this happening online. Granted, there's some minor small stuff too as well. Like, there was one of the driving school things, I think it was, where an AI rammed me, and that disqualified me. But in the second attempt, I got the gold fine. So, that, there's that same glitch with AI, too. But given that there's just so little you race with AI in this game, who cares? And also, to go into something else kind of minor, too. That's good and bad, I guess. Is if you want to do an endurance race in... GT Sport, which is what I'm quote-unquote doing now. Really, all I'm doing is I was AFK for three hours and just now got a chance to record. I thought I was going to be gone for five hours, but that didn't exactly happen. So I don't want to just quit this, but I also can't go to the main PS4 screen to do an actual video, not just this. So that's kind of a good thing that you can farm money without even really having to work for it. And it's kind of a bad thing, too, that you can't do anything on the side with the PlayStation because then it automatically pauses. So, well, that's kind of minor, too. But then, given again that the online is a major part and it's messed up, the minor parts are going to become more major until they fix the major parts. So, eh. I guess as for all offline, since I already kind of got into it, it's good. The AI seems fine on professional level. They're actually good. Again, on the missions, it's not even really the AI. It's more the penalties themselves. They're kind of stupid. But offline actually is about as fun, if not more fun, than online right now. And given that the game is not even that much offline, it probably ain't the best. But anyway, going on to some of the stuff that is the best, which is pretty much as I discussed in every other iteration of the game before the main game, the beta, the demo, the videos online, blah, blah, blah. It's still the best graphics of any console game. In my opinion, it's still the best physics of any console game. So, really, what has to be fixed definitely has to be fixed. But, that's the most fixable of about any problems a game could have. If it was something wrong with the physics, like Need for Speed 2015, it's kind of hard to fix that when a game is out. If it's something wrong, like just bad graphics, that's kind of hard to fix too. But what's wrong is the online calculations. That can be fixed. It needs to be fixed, but it definitely can be. So, all in all, combine this sort of kind of with the demo review too, if there's stuff I'm leaving out, because it's kind of the same game. In the demo, it was about an eight and a half. In the beta, which was a closed beta, it was about a seven and a half. Both of those were off of a 10 mainly because servers more than anything. And this one, it's more than anything amplified if anything they're worse now but that can be fixed 
So, all in all, I guess I would give the game about a 7.5 out of 10. But it has the potential to be pretty much a 10 out of 10. Disclaimer, I'm rating it as a video game, not as a Gran Turismo video game. We already know it ain't Gran Turismo, so if anybody who wants to get mad at me in the comments, I know. This ain't like the other Gran Turismo games, but it's not supposed to be. If I was rating this like it was a Gran Turismo game like the others, I guess really it would be like a 4 or 5, because it ain't that. But to be fair, I'm rating it as a video game, and it is a pretty cotton-picking good video game. Not great, but good. With a whole heck of a heap of room for improvement to make it one of the greatest games there is for a racing complete simulator without all that much beyond racing complete simulator. Can it be a complete racing simulator that's pretty much perfect? Yes, but that's about all it can be. But rating it for what it can be, not parts that ain't ever going to be there again, because it's not really fair to write, write about parts you ain't going to get. It can be, possibly, the best game out of the Gran Turismo franchise. I ain't necessarily saying it's going to be the best Gran Turismo game, because really this kind of ain't has potential to be the best game from Polyphony Digital. So if y'all enjoyed this review, if y'all don't agree, leave it in the comments. If y'all do agree, and it seems like generally people who do agree don't leave a comment. <laughs> if you want to leave a comment, okay, that's great. But, yeah, this is just my review. You don't have to take it to heart if you don't want to. This is my opinion. And, well, y'all are free to have your own opinions as well. So hope y'all enjoyed this. And, as always, yeehaw.